Now, hundreds of animals, including elephants and endangered gravy zebras, have died in Kenyan wildlife reserves during East Africa's worst drought in decades. The Kenya Wildlife Service and other bodies counted the deaths of 205 elephants, 512 wildebeests, 381 common zebras and 51 buffaloes, 49 gravy zebras and 12 giraffe in the past nine months. Here's a report from Amboseli National Park. Take a look. This decaying baby elephant is just a glimpse of a far wider disaster. Such disturbing sights have become all too familiar, a reflection of the vicious drought sweeping across the Horn of Africa. Elephant since June, uh, there's a very bad drought because we didn't get enough rain. The long lane, the short lane, we didn't get uh, enough. So we have been raising a lot of animals and elephants have been dying a lot. So this is one of the ones they have been dying because of the drought. Parts of Kenya have experienced four consecutive seasons of inadequate rain in the past two years, with dire effects for people and animals, including livestock. The worst affected ecosystems are home to some of Kenya's most visited national parks, reserves and conservancies, including the Amboseli, Savo and Laikipia Samburu areas. This dead elephant wandered into a human settlement in Wamba, a small town in Samburu County, and killed a woman at a waterfront. Its carcass is now serving as a valuable meat for locals struggling with hunger. I have suffered from hunger for a long time, and if I run into such a carcass, I would not think twice about eating it, as I have to eat to survive. Unprecedented dry spells, the worst drought in 40 years, have decimated East Africa's food and water resources. Experts believe conservation models must change and migratory corridors must be opened so the elephants can move to greener areas during drought. Elephants drink too, hard, too, too much water, you know, from the 240 litres of water per day. And it's the drought, it's, it's something to do with water and food. So the issue is the, where we have reported cases of the animal dying is not actually within the park. It's basically outside the park. That tells you they were actually looking for either where they used to forage, the corridors, migratory routes that have severely been blocked by the human interface. This time, the KWS is taking efforts to ensure that animals have a better chance of survival. In Amboseli, wildlife can feed on hay supplied every two days by park rangers. In Savo East National Park, about 140 kilometers to the north, KWS has drilled wells so that animals have water to drink. Despite these measures, that park lost 54 elephants between February and October this year. Uh, the Kenyan economy depends entirely in a big percentage on, on wildlife tourism. So when we have visitors coming to the country, our, our main backbone economically is basically wildlife tourism. So the, when the numbers depreciate, obviously it becomes the concern of every Kenyan, the concern of every conservation party, and, and even the leadership. Despite the grim forecast, many remain hopeful that the problems Kenya is going through are man-made and therefore the solution should also come from them. Bureau Report, World of Africa. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.